I was muted that entire time. Thank you for that. What's going on? I don't filter you stupid thing. Everything's going wrong basically today. Maybe it's the controller. It was the controller. It's the controller that's taking all the sound. Why is the controller going? Why is it taking all the sound? Right, you guys are going to be able to... Uh, you guys are going to be able to see, live on stream, me pissing around with controllers. <sighs> this is great content. I've got to enter big picture! Oh god, stop it. Okay. Never happened before. Right. Gonna lose my rag in a minute. Portal 2, what do you do about audio? You're doing nothing about audio. Okay. Technology is not my friend. Okay, okay. See, this all would have been very seamless had my PS4 decided to fucking work today. But no, no. It decided to die. Right, okay. That sounds good. Need to disable it in Windows sound devices. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Disable. Has that solved it? No. Nope, still no sound. I heard that. Oh, we got sound. Ah, oh, we have sound. Right, thank the frickin' Lord. Right. I'm going to have to be really annoying and take up two more minutes of technical difficulties. Uh, Eclipic picture, full square, I don't give a shit. Uh, portal 2 play. Launch Portal 2, please. You are actually already launched. That's fine. Right. Quit Steam. Close all windows, please. Don't need you anymore! Right. Now we can get on with our lives. Oh my god! We'll start a new game. Uh, so, how is everyone else doing today? I hope you are well. 
I'm stressed out. Originally, I had planned for four games in four hours from the PS2. But I open my PS, I turn on my PS2 and see there's an error code. And I was like, shit. Ooh, that lovely sound. PS2, PS4, PS4. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically ah! for a Oh, no, no motion control. No. You will hear a buzzer. When you no. hear a buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you no. hear a buzzer, look down at the floor. This is a catchy. This is actually kind of cool. Good. This completes the genetic no, no, check, check this out. Mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. It's There's motion control. On the wall. That's Please badass! That's very fun. There's a frame painting on the wall. Ah, ah, ah! Wait, 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 wait. I cannot do an hour of that. We are, oh, my mouse is way on screen too. Why can't I select the controller? No! Well, this is my life. There is a this is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. Right, anyway, as I was saying, the PS reflect briefly on this classical music. The PS4 had an error code. And I was like, shit. So I looked it up, and basically he said, right. Um, right, click, stick, or circle button. I'll do circle, thank you. It said, boot up in safe mode. You can update it through that. This game is so interrupty. Ah, Jesus. Right, anyway. I had an error code, boot it up, it said, uh, looked it up, and it said, boot it up in safe mode. I was like, no problem, I booted it in safe mode, and on the screen it says, connect your PS4 controller with a USB port. So I did. And nothing happened. I was like, okay, maybe there's something wrong with the USB port. I tried a different USB port. I tried another USB port. And nothing worked. So I thought, right, I've got a second controller. Plugged, tried the second controller. Didn't work. So, I was like, well, damn it. I can't use... The PS4 won't connect to the controllers. So I can't update it in safe mode. Bollocks. Therefore... PS4 effectively dead to me. I was like, right. And I, I had a, I had an angry moment. I had a very angry moment. Um, oh. I just very quickly want to say that this voice actor, this actor is a legend. And it's so goddamn funny. Anyway. So I was like, right, uh, I've wasted my life uh, for the last hour making a visual on the four games I was going to play on the PS4. So I... So me and the missus went through my Steam library deciding what games instead to play. We decided Portal 2 is a good good one to start with. And I was like, okay, no problem. Set it all up and I thought, oh, I can actually use the controller for, uh, for Portal 2 as well. Plug it in. Nothing happened. Now, the more astute of, uh, out of you out there, much like us, went, it must be the cable. Plugged a different cable in with the same port, connected perfectly. So now we're both sitting there going, oh god damn it, that means we can boot the PS4 in safe mode. But now it's too late, I've got to start streaming, so what we're going to do, we're going to play this game, we're going to play a second Steam game for the second hour, and when we break for dinner, I'm going to see if I can very quickly fix the PS4 and in the second half of today's stream 
Well, I'm going to pick two games that I've got on the PS4 and we're going to play them instead. Well, not instead, but in in the um, second half. Haven't decided which ones. Um, I've got four to choose from. Probably, one of them is probably going to be Spyro. I really wish I could turn off this motion control. This is really aggravating me. Right, oh, and it's not inverted. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Oh. But no, it's not inverted. I can't do any of this. It's way too sensitive. All good. Right. Pause. My good lord, I need to change... Why can't I change the controller settings? Ah, oh, Christ alive. Uh, I'm gonna have to enter big screen mode in, in Steam again to change the controller settings. I didn't know it'd be bloody... Why can I do that? No, it's not. I don't understand why you can't control the bloody controller setting. Oh, here we go. Apparently, if you click it enough times. Uh, what sort of bollocks is this? I just want to turn off motion setting. How do I do that? Oh my god. This is horrible. This is going to be a, a very strange hour. I'm going to have to either stay perfectly still. Oh. Or I could just change to the mouse. I might just change to the mouse and keyboard. Oh. There we go. That's much better. So it's all over the shop because I'm trying to get my mouse in the right place. Right, let's do this. Because screw the controller. Alright, it's actually been a while since I played this game, so I can't really remember what's going on. Aha! Man, the sensitivity is crazy. Sensitivity down by at least half. Please help me incandescent. Oh, thank God. The exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Now I play a, a lot of portal in my in my uh, in my youth. Actually, got to a point where I could um. I could beat it. I could beat the original portal in under an hour. Took a lot of practice. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are I don't think that. A rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes. Emancipated. What a word. How a playthrough of Portal on Monday. Or well, how about a playthrough of Portal on Monday? Eh, we could do that. Uh, e. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've actually got Portal on Steam. I could, uh, try and play through it on Monday. 
this is not working. Why not? What am I doing wrong? Oh, doy. Oh, where's the button? Where be the button? The button is over here. Oh. Man, this is going to be a great uh, stream. You guys are going to watch me struggle at puzzles. Can I run? I can crouch, though. There's no sprinting in this game, is there? Uh, I didn't think so. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before the Jesus. Involved at the conclusion of testing, what happened to this place? Oh wait, in Portal 1, you, yeah, you kind of killed GLaDOS. Awkward. Alright, I'm going to pour myself a lovely beverage. And for those thinking... Hang on, it's only four o'clock. That's way too early for a beer. This is alcohol free. Hmm, <laughs> tastes weird. I'm trying a new beer, to be fair. I'm trying a new non alcoholic beer. Tastes very strange. Ooh, hello, mate. God, I love this actor. What's his name? Steve, Steve Merchant? Steve Merchant, absolutely bloody legend. He's so f oh. Right. What? Hello. Thanks, Steve. You prick. Oh, I should I say Wheatley? <laughs> Yay, gun. Ooh, look. The story. Very cool. Ooh. Very cool. So how's everyone doing on their on their Friday? The thank fuck it's Friday. Or thank God it's Friday. Is everyone looking forward to the weekend? I sure as hell am. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. Ha! To share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected Ooh. robotics as detailed in the laws of robotics, Please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paper. Oh, I've forgotten how much I love this game. Hey, Platypus. Very much so hoping to finally get some time to relax. God, yes. Well, I'm not. I've actually got to work over the weekend. Because I was ill, um, I was so ill on Monday, Tuesday, I didn't get a lot of work done for the client. And so I, I told them to make up for it. I'll work a little bit of uh, Saturday. To make sure we can meet the deadline. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Smooth jazz. Wait, does this mean I can't monetize the video anymore? Oh no, it should be fine. Well, that was relaxing. Ah, I did not mean that. Oh, there we go. Where's that camera gone? I love to join the cameras. <laughs> um. Wait, what did I do? Oh, you need to hit both of them, don't you? Yeah. Okay. No. A bitch. Eh. Uh, how are you doing anyway, Platypus? How are you doing? Shall I call you Platypus or Perilous? The choice is yours. Great work. If 
Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Alternate route, or should I say route? I should say route because I'm English. Ooh, can I jump through the glass? Ah, oh, come on. Pretty good at work myself. Platypus is fine. Okay, Mr. Platypus or Mrs. I should really stop putting my foot in my mouth and just call you Platypus. Oh my god. I just need to de-stress a lot from my hour of panic before the stream. Oh, that does look really weird. I might not drink all of that. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas. I haven't got it working yet because we only discovered um hello can i get oh, oh okay um we only discovered a possible remedy about a minute before the stream was meant to go live basically it was the cable uh the micro usb cable that connects the controller with um the ps4 that isn't working how long it take to fix haven't got a clue it depends how long the update uh, takes, I suppose. Update takes, I suppose. Um, hopefully not long, because I'd really like to play some. I'd really like to play some Spyro. Like to play some Spyro. Come on now, you can do it. Um, and or Spider Man. I was really looking forward to them. Or Watch Dogs. Or Darkwood. Which to be fair I haven't even bought yet. But it's in the basket. Alright how what are we doing here? Alright. Oh. Whoa. Still worked. So basically, we're going to vote for Darkwood. If I can get Darkwood working on the PS4, I will. I can buy it on Steam as well. I would really rather get on the PS4. Um, yeah. But as far as the second game is concerned, if I can get... PS4 working. I'm thinking we'll probably get in Darkwood. You've never seen Portal 2? Ah, Portal 2 is great. I've had this game. By the way, how's the volume? Can you hear this guy yammering on? I've had this game since my first year of university. Um, it's actually given to me by a very, very dear friend of mine. Um... I can't exactly remember why he had it and wanted and didn't need it anymore. But um But there you go. Uh, so he had a spare copy, I think I bought it for a tenner of him. Let's just do that. Yeah. So yeah, I've been playing this game for, oh god, this is where it's going to get embarrassing. First year was 2000. So I've been playing this for nine, 19 years this December. Oh my god. No. I'm talking bollocks. No. 2010. Not 2000, 2010. Nine years. I shouldn't be allowed near other people. I should just be uh, confined. House arrest. Volume is decent. People I've roomed with at university had it. 
Yeah, to be fair, I did, to be fair, I didn't actually know that many gamers at university. It was kind of annoying. Um, although having said that, I remember very specifically when I was revising for my first oh, my first year exams. Uh, I lived on the ground floor of my student house, which was a good thing and a bad thing. Good because when I came home wasted, I didn't have to contend with any stairs. But at the same time, I was on the ground floor, which meant people could knock on my bloody window any time they goddamn wanted. Um, so yeah, take that, take that uh, however you want. But yeah, I remember very specifically in first year. Oh bollocks, I missed. Um, my mate tapping on my window. Saying, I just got home from uh, the holidays and I bought my N64 with Goldeneye. Do you want to come play it? And I was like, hell yeah. Screw revision. I'm playing Goldeneye. Will this work? Yeah. Or is it, I have to smash glass. Do I not smash glass? Oh no, there's a perfectly good doorway. Two feet away. Oh my god, my brain just frazzled today. So yeah, I didn't know that many gamers. I knew there were gamers on like my course, but um, I didn't really know them, and they kind of intimidated me. Except the guy who gave me this game, who was an absolute goddamn legend. Proceeded to be friends with him for many, many years. How did you do on the exam? I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you for love nor money. Um, my whole... Oh. What's up, dude? Oh, brilliant. You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show... People God, I love this guy. Are the real heroes in the end, aren't they? The end what? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Yeah, my memory of university in general, maybe mostly first and second year, bit of a haze, bit of a haze, um, never, bit patchy. Never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right? On the I'm not going to catch you. Dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? What stick? What stick? Ooh. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Dude, you're not on the stick. I just glitched out the game. Lol. Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. Oh, wrong button. Uh, yeah, first, second year, bit of a hazy period of my life. Third year, slightly less hazy. Um, actually, I have one extremely clear memory of third year. Eh, was it third? Oh no, yeah, third year, first day after Christmas holidays. Very distinct memory, but it is embarrassing because I was drunk. If you want me to tell it, I will tell it, but I won't volunteer the information. Um, fourth year. A lot more clarity because I didn't drink f uh, nearly as much. Okay, so in third year, first day of Christmas term, uh, yeah, of uh, well, the winter term, so first day back after Christmas holidays, I was the only one in the house. Um, my flatmate Liam, it was just us two in the flat. Uh, my housemate Liam hadn't come back from holiday yet. Um, where, where do I want to go? Oh, there we go. Uh, and I went out to the pub with some other friends. I was walking home by myself. 
And naturally, after a fair amount of alcohol, uh, I needed to pee. Being the young uh, whippersnapper that I was, I was in a fi um, I was in a field, crossing a field to go home. I thought, oh, you know, I'll find a nice dark, quiet corner and I'll go behind a tree. I went into said shrubbery, immediately tripped. You know when you trip, you you kind of stumble to save yourself. This time, because I was so drunk, I could not stumble. So I literally was walking, 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 trip, and I just fell flat on my face. No sort of saving myself to, from falling. Literally, like a rag doll, I fell over. Um, smeared mud up my nice new clean jeans. Um, pretty sure I got mud on my face. It was bad. It was really bad. I laughed, because I was drunk. But I'm very thankful no one else was around. Why, what am I actually meant to be doing? Uh, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Wheelie, make some sort of sarcastic remark. So I know what I'm meant to be doing. Ooh, stairs. Okay, down these stairs. Okay, cool, cool. Jump! Actually, look at it. That is quite old. That's quite a distance. <laughs> uh, at least you hadn't started yet when you trip. That's very true. I have not Hmm, that brings back bad memories when you say stuff like that. For such a thing has happened. But I didn't trip. I was pushed. It was a betrayal. And it really hurt. Can I drop you? Anything. Can't even drop you. Um, yeah, but yeah, again, uh, third year, a lot more clarity, a lot more movie nights with pizza and beer with my flatmate Liam. Um, fourth year, a lot more studying, much less drinking. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I Ooh, stop. GLaDOS. What are the embarrassing stories from my past, can I tell you guys? Pick a year, one through, one through four, and I'll try and think of something. Hmm. Well, I keep drinking this, I don't like it. The alcoholic version, which I tried in my second year, was much better. She's gonna pick me up. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no the gun! I dropped the gun! Look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For silence. You monster. <laughs> I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. And that's dropping me, is it? Lovely. Oh, we've been going 40 minutes, my god. What languages do you program in for your work? Well, hell. Uh, I'm predominantly uh, a WordPress developer, which involves a lot of... Uh, oh, which involves a lot of... Um, why can't I move... I can't move around. I can't look around. I think this might be scripted. Can I look around yet? The 
Huh. Hey! Um, so yeah, I'm a WordPress developer, which means um, but I'm also a front-end developer too. So HTML, uh, CSS, which is uh, cascading style sheets, which is all the styling. JavaScript, jQuery, and PHP are my like main languages that I use. Oh, thank you for moving out of the way. That's very kind of you, sir. I thought it, 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 I thought it was a cat. I thought it was just a meow. Oh, no. Give me the gun. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I've got the full portal gun. Yeah. All right. Oh, no, can't do that. Okay. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Because I'm pushing the wrong buttons on the keyboard. So, yeah, those are the programming languages. Uh, SQL. Yeah, well, um, SQL, you kind of need to know if you WordPress because WordPress uses SQL databases. And I know enough SQL to sort of trick WordPress into doing stuff that I want sometimes. Dude, it's pronounced SQL. It's SQL. Yeah. Well, it's written SQL, it's pronounced SQL. Okay, uh, yeah, it's just SQL is SQL, but when it, it, when it's my in front of it, that's my SQL. Yeah, my SQL and then SQL. In that case, I don't know SQL, I do my SQL. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Mrs. Panda, by the way, if you didn't know. We recently got her hair dyed. It looks awesome. She'll say hi later. She's busy. Um, yeah, so I, I know I know my SQL. Um, well, I do know React. I think, yeah, Alicia my said, yeah, React. I'm learning React, which is basically, basically my, uh, WordPress, but in JavaScript form. Um, what am I doing? I'm going this way. You just say my sequel. Well, each to their own, platypus. Each to their own. Wait, if you do, you use my do you use my SQL in your line of work? I actually learned programming really uh, when I was 16. I played with HTML and CSS. But then in uni, um, actually, first year I used Fortran, uh, which is not used anymore really. Um, yeah, I, I used Fortran 90, and my dad was like, wow, we used that when I was uh, your age. And I was like, mm -hmm. why the hell am I learning it then? But it, it was to help us because it, it was really, really simple. It helped us sort of um, get the logic of. Um, it is at unis. Well, yeah, they would still use it at unis to teach people like subroutines, if loops, for loops. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we also learned MATLAB. What year do we learn MATLAB? I think. Wait. What year did we use MATLAB? Was that third year? Or was that first year? Oh, no, no, it wasn't first year. We started in the second year. Well, the second year we used MATLAB. Yeah, we started very, very basic. And then we went massively complicated. Oh, image processing we used. Oh, yeah. Man, I hated that. Oh, I loved it so much. Because it was matrix-based, and I can understand matrices. I hated matrices. Oh, I love matrices. They just make sense. See, that's great. I think if it's great, if, if matrices make sense, MATLAB is for you. If they don't, don't use it. No, it, it's fine. It's just as long as you understand how everything works. Yeah. It, it's fine. It's like with any type of... Uh, it's very true. Once you get it, you can, yeah. you're a whiz. At the beginning, I was struggling with it yeah. massively. Um, but after a while, uh, we, we had a few other people that uh, knew it very well. And we had yeah. support stuff that could explain it so I just 
joining one of the groups and that was incredibly helpful. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> In case you guys didn't sort of realize, uh, we were in the same university course. It's how we met. Almost the same. Oh, well, yeah, almost the yeah. same. Um, I studied astrophysics. Um, no, okay, I can't stand on you, which is kind of annoying. I had to estimate. About there. Uh, I did astrophysics, and she did physics with astrophysics. Uh, it's actually a big demand. What, uh, Fortran. Wow. You work as a full stack developer for a medical software company. That's so cool. What's your tech stack then? What do you use on a day to day basis? Uh, let's just put you over there. We're gonna, I'm going to start talking like real technical stuff to you. Oh, why did I move that one, you fool? We're going to leave some people behind, I think, in the next conversation. <laughs> What's your tech stack? Do you use MATLAB? For like image processing? Because that's what, I, that's what we learned at university in third year. Uh, we use MATLAB to like help sharpen up images or make them, I can't remember, black and white or something. I don't know. We use it for different filters. Filters, there you go. Yeah. We also learn Java. Just that was in fourth year though, wasn't it? No, we started in third year because not everyone uh, was learning uh, Java in fourth year. Because you did computer science in the fourth year, so you had to do it. I know, but you learned Java as well. In the third year, because I had to... You learned Java? Yeah. From what course? What, what, what module? Uh, you weren't with me on that one. Was it, medi was it medical physics? No, 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 it wasn't medical physics. It was um, another course but we we literally had eight people oh it, it was only a few of us that took it because right from yeah from people that were taking my Oop. course only a few people took that particular module fair enough oh no this isn't that puzzle is it uh mostly javascript php and my sql <laughs> depends on what area of the system i'm working on actually didn't go that path at uni. I did mobile development and did some work with Ruby on Rails for my last year. Oh. Yeah, I heard of uh, Ruby on Rails. People every now and then ask me if I know Ruby on Rails. Oh, hello. I saw you there. Don't pretend I didn't see you. Um, yeah, I've run into a few websites that were built with Ruby on Rails. Um, I think I started learning Ruby for shits and gigs. Um, in my fourth year, actually. Um, but yeah, I just don't, I don't see enough of a demand for it. For it to be worth it for me. Whoop. Well done. Here come the test results. Oh yeah, we also... Wow, thank you. Uh, we also learned Java. Well, I learned Java in my fourth year. Smaller Amoeba, hello! How are you? Yeah, we learned Java in... Well, I learned Java in my fourth year, as did Mrs. Panda. Different modules, but we did it at the same time. Which obviously led me on to JavaScript. And then I fell in love with it. It's awesome. No, we did. We had uh, we had the introdu introduction to Java. But you, you, basically, because I, I did computer science in my fourth year, so I had a, like two Java modules: an intro and a more advanced class. You just had the beginner class. Because I was doing information security. Exactly. And so you needed to know basic Java yeah. for your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Memory loss. <laughs> yeah, well, you know me and my memory. Yes, outstanding. When alcohol isn't involved, I'm, I normally have a very good memory. Alright, I've got that one working. But that's not helping me. Oh, no, I need that one. Okay. New plan. Okay. That went well. That went really well. Bloody idiot. Oh, bugger. 
Right. Try that again. Well, welcome to the stream, Smaller Amoeba. Hope you enjoy a bit of Portal 2. Right, what else? Need to do that. And that. There we go. Uh, of course, it actually started us in Java, but most of us, most of my actual work knowledge that I've used for interviews came from the internship. Nice. I had with the university webmaster. Now, that is a job title you can really swing around. Oh, excuse me, what do you do? I am the university webmaster. <laughs> what a great job title. It's like Jedi Master, really, isn't it? I will not slow down the genius. Alright, oh, what's going on here then? Oh no. Oh, I remember this test chamber from the first one. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, so well, I need to do this. Nice. Just bounced off me there, thank you. Uh, the orange one, isn't it? Boop. <sighs> nope. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to take the cube with me. No, I'm not. So what university course did you do, uh, Platypus? Out of curiosity. Let me guess, loading screen. Oh, lovely. Oh, my mouse has reappeared. There you go. Oh, we got six minutes of this game. And then we're going to change it. I can't remember what we said we change it to. What did we say the second game was going to be? I can't remember now. Mass Effect. Mass Effect, yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> this next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Phase. Whee! To investigate how well Bloosh. <laughs> that was fun. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. I need to time this right. Oh, uh, noink. Oh, bugger. Death number one. Of many. Ooh. I've forgotten what that sound meant. And why is it under... Ah, oh, the alerts are in the wrong place. But I believe that was a follow. Ah, yes, thank you, Small Amoeba, for following me on Twitch. Mucho appreciado. Oh, hang on, get the chat back up. There we go. And sit. When uh, the weird one was right, uh, having sounds on my alerts really helped. Otherwise, I would have completely missed that. Sorry for the alert bugger up here. As I said, I had to throw this together really quickly because of the uh, technical difficulties faced earlier. That naturally ruined all my plans. Oh, yeah, this is the exact same puzzle I just did. This time, try not to die. Missed. I need to time this right. Snatch. That's more like it. No death. Thank you. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing Boop. real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. Are we going to see the pub today? Yes, we are. Uh, in between these games, uh, this game and the next game, Mr. Panda is going to go get him from daycare because uh, we had a lot of stuff to do today. So it's easier to get the pupper somewhere else. Um, Where she can have a lot of fun. 
And he had a lot of fun. He had a lot of fun with his chums at uh, Doggy Daycare. He does have a nickname. He's called he called Houdini because he constantly gets out the uh, the playpen and out of his harness. And he already taught other dogs to do the same thing. Yeah, he did teach the dogs how to open the gate, which meant they had to move. They had to move the gate lock to a uh, to the other side of the gate so they couldn't open it. Out of the way. Uh, my smaller university didn't have a lot of variation. Object oriented programming. That's the course I did to learn Java. Object oriented programming. In Java. I've got, I wish I'd learned C. I really do. Because uh, I needed to learn Objective C for my dissertation. And it would help me get into uh, app building. Ooh, funky music. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Okay, cool. That was close. Um, but once they branched out the program, I went into web development and mobile development for Android. Nice. I really wish I got into app development a lot quicker. Actually, I know. I wish I got into app development in general. Oh, I want to grab that. Oh, nearly fell down. Shant. I'm going to catch it. Yoink. <laughs> oh, wait. Radio. I seem to remember there's a secret somewhere in here. Uh, let me try and remember where it is. Where is it? Oh. I love that. First of all, I want to try and find this secret that I have a vague recollection of. Uh, let me go pop back over there for a minute. Is it up there somewhere? I know this isn't probably very interesting to watch. There is a secret! I knew there was! Where is it? I know you have to get it somewhere when you're flying around. Do you remember where it is, smaller amoeba? Because I seem to remember this one's really interesting. If you take the radio in, it goes really squibbly. Alright, let's um It's definitely a observation deck. I literally just saw that. Where was that? Um Okay, let's go. Ah, it's up there, isn't it? It's up there? God, this is going to grow drive me crazy. Right, I think we might need to shoot into it from across the room. So let's try that. Yep, there's definitely something there. My question is that... Oh, I know how you do it. 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 Oh, good. Because I'm smart. Despite popular opinion. Oh, no, we've hit the arrow mark. Okay, we're going to get into the secret area. Eh, no, nah, no. Nah. Here we go. Yeah! Very cool. I just wish we had the radio. Very cool. Kind of creepy. Right, okay. We're just going to do with one more thing. One more thing. We're going to get the radio. And we're going to go back in there. And then we'll call it a down portal. Yep. We started late anyway, so I've actually got five more minutes. Woo! 
Alrighty. Come here, radio. You're vital to this. I think I need to set up the portals beforehand. It would make more sense too. Yeah, yeah. That sounds the radio. Ha! That is cool. Man, I loved... I remember I actually played through this game just searching for the secrets. It was amazing. This is great. Smooth jazz. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. Ooh. That sound is nasty. So cool. Right. That's that, I guess. I'll finish the level so we save. And then we get um Oh bugger, well good place to end on a death as overzealous right now uh, we're going to stop this, uh, this game now guys we're going to load up another as per my four games four hours stream oh it saves me in here that's badass okay save game new game slot hopefully the controller is slightly better in the second game Right, you shouldn't be able to see anything when I quit this. Good. No way! If you then decrypt, decrypt it, it's a picture of the companion cube on the moon. Nice.